What not to do on Valentine's Day if you are a woman? There is a difference. Just like night and day, sun and rain, on and off, stop and go, male or female. And while we are equal, we love differently as much as we are different. And it's important for you as a woman to understand this and what not to do on days like Valentine's Day. So whether you are watching this Valentine's Day 2024 or 2030, it doesn't matter because men are male and women are female and we love differently while we're all on a scale. If you go with the most male Ness about a man in terms of your romantic relationship, you will typically do yourself a favor. So I want to help you with that. And I want to keep you from making these kinds of mistakes that I'm going to talk about today on Valentine's Day and other days of the year as well, holidays, etc. So who am I to talk about this? I'm Coach Paula Grooms, a dating and relationship coach, licensed social worker, and author of the book, Why Won't He Commit? How a Man Decides to Make You the One. And in that book, I talk about how men and women love differently. And when you understand that way of loving differently, you will do yourself an enormous favor in your relationship and give yourself the best chance of a great relationship with him and him loving you in a way that he needs to love. Just like with a love language, this deep-rooted difference in the way we love romantically is significant and especially when a day like Valentine's Day heightens the romantic relationship in a way that can be of a disservice to that relationship. So that's in another video I have, how to avoid the Valentine's Day breakup and why you should, and I will link that below. So what are we talking about in terms of what not to do? It's very simple. If you are female, even though all in society has told you that you can be the pursuer, the one to reach out, the one to do. This is all contextual. And what I'm talking about in terms of today, you want to think about in the context of your relationship, because everybody watching here is different. One woman could be married for 20 years and in a great romantic relationship with that man. Another woman could be on the brink of divorce. Another woman could be just dating a man for three times. So you have to go within the context of your relationship, but this is a broad overview of what not to do. I'm going to go on a limb and say almost never. Reaching out to him with the happy Valentine's Day. My goodness, my goodness. When you understand that that will get you some response, think about it. What are you looking to achieve with that? It's like you're waving, hello, look at me. I'm here. I'm wanting your attention instead of I am the gift to you this Valentine's Day. Because as the woman in the relationship, you are the gift. Now, I'm not saying he's not the most wonderful man in the world. He could very well be. And after he is the one that makes the gesture first, and whether that's simply a text, if you've only been dating a couple of times, do not expect that it will be more than that. If it is, hey, great. But if it's not, you want to think about where you're going to be next Valentine's Day with him. And if you are cool about this, you do not show your hand in this game of cards, like, here's what I have, here's all my aces. No, you want to hold your cards close to the vest, as they say, and show him that 
you are the feminine worthy opponent that every man is seeking because every man loves the challenge related to everything in his life but certainly in terms of romance love and getting what he desires in his life it's there it doesn't go away because it's a relationship no he is male he loves through wondering this is not your way of loving your way of loving is knowing and as a woman you want to know in order to feel love and to give it so you may try to get the knowledge and the knowing that it's there and you have it that won't work in your favor because he loves through wondering you need to allow him to be the one to first make the overture in whatever way in the context of your relationship that will be knowing that if you become the wonder woman I hope you are becoming by watching my channel then you will get the results you desire and have your dream come true so allow him to be the one to make any kind of overture this Valentine's Day or any special day and please please no gift if you cannot keep yourself from something it is a token go get a candy bar he likes and put a little red ribbon on it you may think how lame is that yes let him shower you with gifts goodies whatever to whatever degree he can and shows you what is going on inside here's another tip for you women relate via verbalization men relate via action he's going to show you need to become aware of that and take in what he is showing you and don't come at him with the verbalization first the text or mentioning when you get this you up level your value to him your worth he sees you as a worthy opponent which every man wants in the feminine way you're being to his masculine there's a lot to this this is what my channel is all about and my content is about on Instagram and here etc watch that video I'm going to link and if you want more there is information below for you to get it just know today your two words are hold back and allow for him to show you what he's feeling in this moment and then know that because you are growing and becoming he is going to see that feel it and react to that and you will have your divine dream come true that may be next Valentine's Day so stay with that know it do by holding back and you will start achieving the relationship you desire and deserve I trust you got a lot of useful information from today's video but you may want more because information is not transformation if you are struggling in your dating or romantic life in general with a relationship you want an ex back I work with women in programs and you can also look on my website for my self-help courses my website will provide you all the information you need to make a decision of whether or not you are ready to work with a coach and really move the needle on where you are in your romantic life to get what you desire and deserve I do this using what I call a two-pronged approach meaning manifesting on the one hand and doing the work of what I call the mechanics of men I take the approaches and strategies for example some of which are in my book but you can hear a lot more here on my playlist for example the make him wonder playlist that is a podcast 
where I actually talk with real women in a coaching conversation for however long is needed. You can hear many of those conversations here on a playlist. And if you want more and in their entirety, you can join the 8020 Wonder Club. This is all on my website, again, coachpaulagrooms.com. I am one of the few coaches that actually do the work with clients, not a Facebook group or something of the sort, but the actual individual work that will really make the difference between success or just continuing in a situation that is not servicing you for your life's goals and your romantic dreams. Because I have found that we as women, when we are satisfied in our personal lives, our romantic lives, we thrive in all other areas of our life. That's why I do the work that I do because women are love in the world. We deserve to get the love that we give out and we deserve to be able to give it. And I know that you get a lot from this channel, but you can get a lot more and you can get, again, transformation versus information. So check it out at coachpollockrooms.com and I trust that we will be talking soon.